economics wise, the total supply or max supply is 10 billion coins. 1.5 billion was the Genesis supply and circulating right now around 7.4 billion, 74%, which means 26% are still to be unlocked. And you can also see the full unlock schedule right here. So we are right now here somewhere here and have around a year left until we have the full token unlock. And in terms of fully diluted valuation, I think now the price is even slightly lower than that. So we're around four to five million FDV, which is also the price that it had before. Yeah, right now it's 4.3. So 4.3 million FDV, which is also the price it had before the bull run or breakout that this coin had in uh, late 2023, early 2024, and pulled a 40x within literally eight weeks. And to be honest, it's always a reminder, like this stuff can always happen, right? Like a 30, 40x can always happen in crypto. Um, it's just literally within a couple of weeks, this can happen. Um, but yeah, what are some of the reasons why Pika has not uh, has has dumped so much? I think number one because there's a lot of big sell pressure from maybe early team members, early contributors. Remember, there's also this huge drama around Omar or Brainjar um, with some early even kind of co-founders and the early CTO and early members at Picasso that had some beef, had some issues, and then I guess they kind of got into drama and now a lot of these team members that probably still have vested tokens are just aggressively selling the price and considering that Pika's liquidity is not as deep. It's not like there's no liquidity, but um, yeah, mostly it's uh, on Osmosis, 120K on Orkan Solana, around 100K, Uniswap ETH, 23K in Pablo, there's only 17K, but that's also been sunset. So liquidity is not as deep, which means if there's sell pressure from early team members and contributors, this could cause the price to go down. Um, and it's probably also one of the reasons why. Also early crowd loan members, remember this is Polkadot and Kusama specific. Obviously the fact that, you know, Pika like delayed their launch and then moved over to Cosmos, did not focus too much on, on, on that, you know, Polkadot Kusama community anymore. Obviously also got them angry, which means they probably all sold their coins. So you just have massive sell pressure. And at the same time, they have kind of revamped their tokenomics. There's also now a fees uh, burn, a buyback and burn and distribution to stickers as part of the product. Um, but yeah, the product is still being kind of rolled out and um, gaining traction. Uh, I think it does have product market fit, but so far it hasn't really gained massive traction or significant traction, which is also probably partially because of the market environment. But um, yeah, I wouldn't write Pika off, to be honest. I think it's just right now in this phase and has been for the past six, seven months of massive sell pressure and um, that's just what it is, right? Out of the um, top holders, we can look at the rich list. The number wallet is, one wallet is the IBC escrow holding 45% of the total supply and wallet two to 10 hold roughly 2.6 billion Pika, which is 26% of the supply. So there's also still a kind of concentration of wealthier and inflation and staking parameters right now. It's inflation 1.19% and um, staking APR 5.29%. Investors, which is very interesting. They have actually a very solid investor backing. Coinbase Ventures here in the seed round. Jump Capital, not to be mixed up with Jump Crypto. Long Hash as well, SOSV, Hash, Spartan Group, GSR as well. Then they did a Series A raising 32 million. So that's 39 million in total already. Um, led by Coinbase Ventures, in fact. But also Maven11, Figment has invested and a lot of other VCs. And what's next? That's the question now, right? I think um, on the token unlock schedule, we've seen it. There's a lot um, still coming over the next couple of months. Um, but then uh, at one point, there's no more powder, no more dry powder that's waiting to be sold. So that will be over. But um, on the product development side of things, um, Picasso aims to adopt interchain security, which means to migrate into an atom secured network. Also strengthen more synergies with osmosis, waiving fees and introduce a revenue share and also a potential airdrop for Mantis, which, like I said earlier, is going to be a Solana L2 that is enabling chain abstraction to access DeFi yield on any chain. So that's all about that. You can read our full blog post here on Twitter and also on our